everyone, welcome back. So today I'd like to compare the RX 480 8GB to the GTX 1050 Ti 4GB rendering tests in Adobe Premiere Pro 2017 or Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. So let's get started. This video was sponsored by Block Wi-Fi Thief. Basically, this app detects all the devices connected to your Wi-Fi and allows you to add them to the allowed or blocked lists. This app is simple but detailed about each device running on your network so you can easily find out who's not supposed to be on your Wi-Fi network. It also allows you to see all the devices connected to your network, meaning both Wi-Fi and Ethernet users, and what's even better is that all of this is combined into one totally free app. You can use the link in this video's description to check it out. So first of all, if you already guessed it, it may seem pretty obvious that the RX 480 is going to win this battle easily because, first of all, it's 8GB instead of 4GB, and that card is overall about twice as fast or more than the 1050 Ti. But let's go ahead and watch these benchmarks just to make sure. To do these tests, I'll be rendering a 1 minute video that is my intro with a pause in between using 1080p 60fps and the H.264 encoder. Now, before we begin, I will say that if you're looking at which card to buy for video rendering, I would highly suggest getting an NVIDIA card over an AMD one, because AMD cards have this problem with Premiere that you have to do all these funky things to get it to work. Mine was fairly simple, but weird. You can check that out in a corner, in the corner over there. Just watch that video, that's how I fixed it, but it's pretty weird, so if you don't want any problems, I would highly recommend sticking to NVIDIA, but here are the benchmarks. Okay, so as I mentioned already, this is a 60 second video render test. And as you can see, the RX 488GB only beat the 1050 Ti by a tiny little bit, a few seconds. And there's a few reasons for this, I would say. So, um, the main reason for this, I'd say, is that Adobe is more friendly with Premiere and not AMD's OpenCL, or actually not AMD's, but just OpenCL. I think Adobe just optimized their software for CUDA and didn't really bother too much with OpenCL for some reason, which is why the faster RX 488GB did not beat the 1050Ti 4GB. Another thing you should note is that there is a community created plugin for Premiere named NVIDIA Encoder, which will work with NVIDIA graphics cards and will basically, depending on what type of video you make, it'll render about 10 to 100 times faster depending on your card due to CUDA acceleration rendering in Premiere. Because if you didn't know, Premiere doesn't really fully utilize your GPU, in fact it doesn't really do anything at all, and this encoder makes it do it fully, and it'll actually speed up your rendering times a whole bunch, but personally, I didn't do that because I don't really see any point in- I don't want to mess around with all this stuff you have to download and stuff, but if you encode a lot and you think it's worth it to save that time, go ahead and check that out. Okay guys, so let me know if this helped you, let me know if this comparison helped you choose your graphics card to buy, and let me know in the comments down below why do you think Adobe is not utilizing OpenCL yet in their programs. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.